Uh, I'm Mary McClock and I'm also a senior. Uh, I'm Tazneem Mali and I'm also a senior at Lincoln North Star. All right, excellent. Thank you um, for doing this, ladies. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to talk about kind of the summer or the season or what the outlook on is for this season and things that kind of have motivated you. Uh, this year we are actually super excited. I mean, our ultimate goal is to take our girls to state. Uh, last year, all three of us made it, and our team missed it by three points. And then the year before that, our, miss, our team missed it by four points. So, like, uh, this year we're like, that's like our ultimate goal, and like we're motivated and working extra hard to get our girls' team to state this year. Um, so, hopefully, like, this year, one thing that we want to do to like up our like training is like we added in like weightlifting during the week and like we're gonna do more swim workouts but otherwise like we're keeping a lot of our training like the same and stuff um, but yeah we're adding in like lifting weights and hopefully that will pay off and bring the team to stay yeah. and i'm really excited because we um our girls team ran the thunder run this um a couple weeks ago and our pack is like really good right now so i'm hoping that with the lifting and the swimming it increase our decrease our time together with the girls and all that stuff with the pack. So I'm really excited this year for our team. Nice. Yeah, I kind of noticed that on the workout today, um, and I may have to go back and revise my preview where I actually had you picked at seventh, but seeing the pack and the front runners that, I mean, that, that's, I was really excited to see that. Um, and I know I've been your guys' district the last few years when I was at Miller South. and narrowly missing out. I know that that's got to be a motivating factor, but how, how do you pull in the, in the entire team um, to kind of buy into it? What things do you do maybe outside of running? Um? We do a lot of team bonding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we think that the, the closer our team is, like with our friendships and like at the end of the season, hopefully we're like inseparable, like family. So then like we would all, we all want the same goal and we all, you know, hoping to see us all there at the state meet is just really incredible. <laughs> Like uh, this summer, we like did a pool party to kind of like kick off the season, and we like rented out the pool, and that was a lot of fun. And I think we're gonna do a few other things this fall just to like keep us closer. I think building relationships helps us a lot, like when it comes to running together and stuff. Um, our first meet is September first at Seward at Concordia. Yeah, that's okay. our first meet. Yeah. Thumbs up. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much and good luck this season. I hope to see you out there and I know you'll be running fast. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you gentlemen for joining me today. I appreciate taking, on, taking time out of your busy schedule. Um, beautiful day. Beautiful day. <laughs> Cooled down, <laughs> rain's coming. I um, had a really good workout today, five by um, three minutes on, one minute off. Yep. Yeah. Um, kids look great. It was a successful, a successful workout today, with the, especially considering the week we had. It was a, it was a rough week with the heat and, mm -hmm. and uh, just a odds and ends school starting. It's always a tough, tough week with school beginning, and, and uh, it's hard on the kids and teachers and, and everyone involved. But we got through and had a great conclusion of the week. So, uh, yeah, good workout, good way to end it. Um, good numbers. We continue to uh, get kids out, a lot of rookies and freshmen and, and newcomers out. Uh, uh, getting paid for work and physicals and all that that's always a, that's always a, a pain but uh, on the boys side we're really we're really rebuilding we yeah. had some unbelievable seniors that were just grinders that qualified for state last year as a team and, and some are running in college yeah. and some aren't but uh, we, we miss their leadership and, and uh, not only their running but just they were they've been with us for four years they so. went through the program they were freshmen yeah. who started out with just you know 22 minute guys and 23 minute guys and worked down to mid 17s and it was it's, it's the kind of kind of team you want to have and now we're just kind of starting from scratch on the guy side and on the girl side you know we had a really good shot last year and didn't go our way as far as districts went and i think the girls are really looking to have a comeback year not even comeback year just a year where they meet some goals they set heck probably in november last year and we saw some of that with our four by eight in the springtime and some development of girls there and we got some of the pieces there. You know, one of the things we always talk about with our team is how wide range our team is. If you look at, I don't know how much going to come up in the video in the, in the workout, but the, the variety of runners we have. It's like any cross country team. You got really good runners down to people who are just developing. And, but you also look at just the, the makeup of our team, which different countries people are coming from. And it's kind of it's interesting to see the perspectives they bring and just kind of the attitude. And, it's a, it's a challenge, but it's neat, too, to see some of that. And 
We got we got some major. We got yeah. a, a bunch of track runners. Yeah. You know, we have a Diana Leda who's a state cross country runner up that. You know, she can go out and run a 59 quarter, uh, along with the Tasney and Molly, but then we have a Miriam Clock, the grinder, who, who's just a grinder. She's a cross country runner. Yep. So we, and over the years, I think we've had a lot of those track runners from a Mohammed Hamden to a Mustafa Mohammed to a Chris Climber, but we've also had those distance kids like an Eric Knoll and, and Ashley Schnell yeah. and obviously Gerald and Poe. So uh, it's a big mixture this year, I <laughs> it think. really is. So the girls are kind of on a, you know, they're driven to get back, you know, get there and have a great season and get to state. Because yeah. we were so short, you know, we came up so short last year. Yep. And obviously we're led by Diana Leto and, and state runner-up had a great state meet. And, and uh, she's our leader out there and the other girls, hopefully we can stay close to her, you know, as, as a pack. Yeah. I think our, our first meet, our first meet at Seward will be a good good test for the Millard South coming this year. Yeah. And uh, Millard it's, South and the girls side, Westside and the boys. I mean, yeah. That's and Omaha great. Marion girls are always there. Yep. So it's, it'll be a good first meet. Uh, it's always a good one. Um, with Taylor there and, and obviously Diana and the Millard South team, I think that'll be a good test for us and for them, I hope. And Omaha Marion girls are always solid. So it'll be, it'll be a good one, I think. Yeah. It'll, it's always competitive. Somehow it's always competitive. The first meet of the year, people getting in shape and we look forward to it because then we go to Sioux Falls and we go to Norfolk and we get to see a bunch of different teams and different courses and you know we we've talked about doing some different meets over the years but we like the way that season breaks down and just kind of leads us into Carney then and then it's championship season and we hope we're in the right spot by then and you know people are coming along so yeah. there's a lot of great runners in the state yeah. back this year yeah the boys side and, and girls but boy there's there was, there was a great state track meet last spring so mm -hmm. a lot of great two milers and it's going to be a, it'll be an interesting season. Yeah, yeah it, it's definitely seemed like in the last five, six years, times have continued to drop both on the girls and guys side and to get into that top 15 in state, even, you know, down to that top five, it, it's mm -hmm. taken more each year. Yeah. Um, so training wise, what's probably changed this year? What things have you looked at? I know the girls talked a little bit about weightlifting. Yeah, We've been a little more purposeful. You know, typically distance runners roll in the weight room, do some core work maybe, do a few curls or bench press and that kind of thing. But we've done a more formal strength pro uh, program with our, our new strength coach and Coach Howard. It's kind of been heading that up and it's been kind of neat to see. We're gonna see how it plays out. But we're you know, trying to build, I guess, a more complete runner. We were just talking yesterday, you know, sacrificing a few miles here and there in your, in your overall mileage is worth the, some of the weight stuff. And we're thinking, you know, we're gonna see how it goes and play with that. And as far as training in general goes, this kind of thing today you saw, that three on one off kind of thing. We've been doing more of that over the years too and getting away from maybe a little more of the intervals and just mixing this in a little more. Not only do we think it's good, just good training, it, for the kids mentally it's good also. And we just think that it's, you know, it's neat for them to kind of see and run some other runners. Um, it really pushes that pack mentality yeah, too. Yeah. And, and we've, we've changed our training over the last maybe five, six years since when Gerilyn came through. You know, again, we had a lot of speed over the years before with you know, with the Chris Climbers and Ashley Chanel and some of them, but you know, so we've we've changed our training a little, a little bit. More strength driven, five you know, years. And that's probably you. Well, maybe, but <laughs> I'm more the speed track yeah, guy. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just you know, like any coach, we're trying to find that little combination that works for the team you have. And you want to have your your philosophy and that kind of thing, but just trying to get the most out of the kids. By the time we get to you know districts and and those last JV meets too, it's just yeah. The, the big struggle. You got kids that have ran five, six hundred miles this summer, and mm -hmm. the kids today or this week was their first days out. Literally, their first day. So you got yeah. the whole spectrum in cross country. I think most schools do. So you just try to get them to. Yep, maximize what they got. Yeah. Exactly. Right.